एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Have you ever wondered how the length of material is being calculated by a manufacturer? In this video, I'll tell you the same concept today. Welcome to S Chand Academy, and I'm Anmol Bhatia. And in this uh, lecture, we will be learning about development of solids. If you want to study the concept in detail. Uh, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. This is the second part of the lecture number nine. If you haven't watched the first part of the uh, lecture, you can uh, watch that first part by clicking at the link in the description box. So in this part of the lecture, we'll be learning about the development of surfaces. Let us first understand what is meant by the development of surface. so here the hollow object so we'll assume that there is a hollow object and that hollow object is made by a thin sheet cut open it from one side and unfold the sheet completely right and then the shape of that unfolded sheet is called as the development of lateral surfaces of the object let me uh, explain this concept which is written with the help of a plain piece of paper so let's say we have this cylinder right and the statement says that we need to cut it from one side so i have to cut it from one side right and unfold it like this so cut it from one side and unfold the cylinder so that the material of the sheet is obtained so here this material that we'll get this is for the lateral surface now what is a lateral surface if we exclude the top and the base so you can see that this cylinder is having no top and is having no base just it is having the the surfaces without the top and without the base so when uh, i cut the section or when i cut uh, this edges of the the surface or the model and then when i open it like this i'll get the development of surface so this particular thing we'll be learning in today's video and the question that i have raised in the starting of the video that how do the manufacturer uh, estimate the material before producing any component is being done with the help of the concept of development of surfaces so let's understand the concept with the help of the similar example that we have seen in the first part of the video before coming to that let us uh, have some some clarification uh, on these uh, concepts like if i have a cylinder the cylinder thing that i have shown you in the uh, by the piece of paper so when i unfold the cylinder i'll get the circumference of the base which is pi d so pi d would be the circumference of the base of this and i'll get a rectangle as the development of the surface next if we have a prism so a prism has this pentagonal shape so what to do i have a rectangular shape and these number of rectangles are 5 because these prism uh, is pentagonal prism and it has 5 different surfaces so five indicates the the five um, sections of this uh, entire length and this first length is indicated by the side of the prism that we already have then if it is a case of a cone then i need to find out the sector or the angle of this development so for that i have the formula radius over the slant length multiplied by 360 so by using this formula i can calculate the angle and from that angle i can draw this arc by making the uh, this part as the length or the slant length of the cone and then by using this distance i can make an arc additionally if we have a pyramid situation so for a pyramid situation what do we have we have let's say a rectangular um, cone which is a pyramid so i can take the slant edge of this 
cone and I can open it um, like this and uh, the angle would be similar but here there is no need to find out the angle what to do I need to just divide this into four sections so divide this into four sections you will get the opened region of this pyramid we will learn this concept in detail with the help of uh, the same problem that we have seen in the first part of the video so uh, in the first part of the video we have seen the sectional view of the same solid that is being uh, given in the problem like in this problem you have a prism which is the base shape is pentagon and it is 30 mm uh, base and 50 mm the axis and it is standing on the horizontal plane that means the the prism is standing on the horizontal plane so if i look at the prism from the top i'll get the pentagon and from the front i'll get a rectangle rectangle because it is a prism now in the first part uh, we have seen the true shape of the section uh, we have seen the sectional top view and the sectional side view when the section was 45 degree inclined to the base so we have already seen that now we'll uh, be uh, looking at the development of the surface of this remaining solid so let's say this part is being cut and i want the material for this cut section so for that i need to prepare its development so how to do that or what is the procedure for this initially i need to draw a line and this length of the line would be equal to the circumference of the pentagon that i have so let's say i have the length of pentagon is as 30 so 30 multiplied by 5 will be the length of this line so 150 would be the length of the line so i can uh, make uh, the line of length 150 now what to do i need to divide this line into number of parts let's say these are five equal parts so i need to divide this line into five equal parts so in order to divide this line into five equal parts what to do you can use a line uh, which is inclined to the base at an acute angle so this is any angle of your choice and then you need to divide this line into number of sections or number of parts so divide it into let's say five equal parts and draw parallel lines from there you will get these points label the points as a b c d e and a so why a because a would be clubbed to this a so that the the overall shape can be obtained after joining them so this is the opened view so for that i labeled it as a b c d e and a now what to do next uh, in this there is a similar uh, aspect of joining the parts together let's say this uh, section is 45 degree which is given in the question so this a can be extended till this point and when this a matches with a you will get some point number one then you have the point b b is extended to another this b point so this can be named as two point then c is here so c when extended and when it matches with this vertical line you will get this c point similarly there is a point which is d when it matches with this d you will get another point and when this e part when it is extended and it, it, when it matches with the vertical uh, line you will get the e case and when a matches with this a you will get the a part now now the case is to join all the parts together so make vertical lines from there and join all the points together so you can join all the points together so whenever uh, you just close this development you will get the section which is this section this one so you'll get this section opened in this form so this part is the section of solid you might be wondering that what would be the engineering applications of this development of solids it has a variety of applications 
there are certain objects which are very difficult to manufacture by the conventional manufacturing process because we have uh, the complexity in the true shape and the sizes so those are generally fabricated in the sheet metal industry by using the development technique so majority of the cases in the sheet metal industry are being manufactured with the help of the sheet metal uh, with the help of this development of surfaces you have ever seen your uh, almiras uh, in which the sheet metal is being used so for that before uh, incorporating the sheet metal into the structure what to do uh, you have to purchase the necessary length which is the development of the surface and then you need to join the the sheet on the object uh, after measuring the length so there is a vast range of such objects like examples um, boiler shells so boiler shells are majorly manufactured with the help of the development of surfaces you have chimneys or you have pressure vessels shovels or trays or boxes or cartons or hoppers these are majorly manufactured with the help of development of surfaces and there are certain pipe sections or the body or the parts of automotive ships or automotive components or airplanes or there are a variety of objects which are being manufactured with the help of development of surface. So we come to the end of the second part of the lecture in which we have learned the concept of development of surface. We have also uh, seen an example in which you can uh, practically see what is uh, the application of this development of surface concept. If you want to study the concept in detail, uh, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. So if you find the video interesting, you can like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.